What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Heavy Hitter Media. I am the Heavy Hitter and today we're going to have a conversation about something one of my favorite YouTube creators, content bloggers, and social media internet sensation, Funky Dineva mentioned on his Real Housewives of Atlanta review about the one and the only Sheree Whitfield. Come on back, let's have this heavy conversation. As mentioned in the introduction, we're going to talk about Sheree Whitfield, who got her invite back to season 14 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. After watching Funky's review of part two of the reunion for season 14, he made a, an observation or a comment about how some of the things are starting to tie into why maybe Sheree is the way she is. And that is because after having a baby in junior high school, she did not return. I was like, whoa, like that's a story right there because if you had a baby in junior high school, which we all know she had a child early uh, because initially as the first, what, two seasons, she, we never even knew she had a child other than Cairo and the other younger daughter by Bob. And then this older girl gets, I think Haley, Kaylee, or something like that, gets introduced and we're like, Where, where'd she come from? It now makes sense why she wasn't introduced initially out of concerns of how Sheree may have looked and the reputation that she may have wanted to put forth on the show. You know, image image is everything, you know, to some. So, um, I took a little bit of the clip. Uh, shout out to Funky Don Evil. Y'all go over and support. Like, comment. Do you agree or you disagree with his, his type of commentary? I love it. It's hilarious. And he can also be seen on TGIF. Go ahead and, you know, let's look at it. Let's, let's 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 look at it and then we can talk about it in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and hit the notification button so you'll know whenever I put something new up. So let's look at it. We got some gems and jewels that'll help us understand Sheree. So from my understanding, Sheree got pregnant in middle school, had the baby, and never returned. Sheree doesn't have a high school diploma, okay? And it's weird, I wonder if any of the other girls ever knew that because none of them have ever read her about not having a high school diploma or her educational level, which, I mean, is a decent thing to do. It's not nice, but follow me here. Marlo went on a whole diatribe about worthiness. And... Imagine the shame and, and, and the pressures and everything that came along with being a teenage mother, the way people viewed you, the way you probably felt people were judging you, looking down on you, the fact that you didn't have a high school education, that had to, at some point in your life, make you feel a way make you feel less than, make you feel judged. And so could it be some of those traumas why Sheree has this preoccupation with creating an image for herself that makes her feel so elevated or make her seem so elevated because once upon a time in life, she was made to feel so low. And I think, and I wish, I think that that's the Da Vinci Code. Instead of coming up with fake storylines and being drama-filled, messy, and, 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 and all that gossipy, let's be real. Sheree, that's the more evolved story for you. That's the stuff we want to see and hear about. That's the stuff that would actually make this show interesting and not going to a fancy restaurant, over damn dressed, head full of weave, head and face full of makeup, gossiping. Like, that's the story we want to know, Sheree. Give us your childhood. Take us back to Cleveland. Sheree's never really discussed that part of her life. And granted, because it's probably embarrassing, I get it. 
and she's still holding on to trying to be so I'm this and I'm that. And at this point in life, mama, you are this and that. I'll give it to you. So there's no reason to be ashamed of your past because much like Marlo said in her speech, I'm an iconic ex-con. You know, basically, bitch, y'all counted me out. And, and now, look, I'm sitting on a platform with X, Y, Z people. Sheree, it's the same ending for you, baby. You know what I'm saying? You had a, a, a difficult... You know, adolescence, you ended up marrying Bob, which thrusted you into a certain social circle. And now you're here. You are somebody. So let us in, mama. Tell us that story. We, we want to hear that shit. And not about how Tyrone's sex bad and Martell and all, all that non-interesting shit. So what do you think? That was pretty interesting, right? So while Funky Dineva was doing his thing and I was adding it here, I started to do a little digging on my own just to see specifically if there's a particular documented education level for Sheree Whitfield, and there is not. There's not any information of where she went to high school and or college, but there is an article from 2018 titled, Sheree Whitfield Receives Honorary Doctorate, and she's feeling so blessed. <laughs> It says, let's see, Sheree Whitfield received an honorary doctorate of humane letters from Trinity International University of Ambassadors and is elated over the prestigious feat. The what? Trinity, Trinity International University of Ambassadors? Is that even a legitimate university? Girl, what the hell? And on, well, first of all, to receive an honorary doctor, you would have had to have done something or to have had, had made some or to have made some really remarkable mark on life or something, something just really <laughs> worthy of receiving a doctorate, an honorary doctorate. So, yeah, I don't know. I ain't buying it. It would explain a lot. It would explain a lot about her execution and her follow through. It would explain a lot about the way that she deals with particular things and how she deals with certain men as far as what we've been presented to look up, to see and to look at. Um, I'm interested to see what y'all think. Let's talk about it in the chat. If you, you know, you follow Heavy Hear the Media, you see I'm, I'm, I'm pretty active and I engage with, uh, with the followers and the supporters and the viewers. So, Again, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and ding, hit the notification button so you know when I post something. Uh, I'm interested. I'm really, really intrigued to see what you guys think. So, again, y'all be easy. Peace.